what uh, computing hardware or um, just any kind of even software design are you uh, do you find beautiful from your own work from uh, other people's work that you're just uh, we were just talking about the the battleground of flaws and mistakes mm -hmm. and errors but things that were just beautifully done is there something that pops to mind well when things are beautifully done usually there's a well set thought out set of abstraction layers like, so the whole thing works in unison nicely yes and and when I, when i say abstraction layer that means two different components when they work together they work independently they don't have to know what the other one is doing Mm. So that decoupling. Yeah. So the, the famous one was the, the network stack. Like there's a seven layer network stack, yep. you know, data transport and protocol and all the layers. And the innovation was, is when they really wrote, got that right. Because networks before that didn't define those very well. The layers could innovate independently. And occasionally the layer boundary would, would you know, the interface would be upgraded. And that that let, you know, the, the design space breathe. And mm -hmm. people, you could do something new in layer seven without having to worry about how layer four worked. Right. And so good design does that. And you see it in processor designs. When we did um, the Zen design at AMD, we made several components very modular. And, you know, my insistence at the top was I wanted all the interfaces defined before we wrote the RTL for the pieces. One of the verification leads said, if we do this right, I can test the pieces so well independently when we put it together, we won't find all these interaction bugs because the floating point knows how the cache works. And I was a little skeptical, but he was mostly right. That uh, the modularity of the design greatly improved the quality. Is that universally true in general? Would you say about good designs, the modularity is uh, like usually Well, we talked about this before. Humans are only so smart, like, like and we're not getting any smarter, right? But the complexity of things is going up. Yeah. So, you know, a, a beautiful design can't be bigger than the person doing it. It's just, you know, their piece of it. Like, the odds of you doing a really beautiful design of something that's way too hard for you is low, right? If it's way too simple for you, it's not that interesting. It's like, well, anybody could do that. But when you get the right match of your, your expertise and, you know, mental power to the right design size, that's cool, but that's not big enough to make a meaningful impact in the world. So now you have to have some framework to design the pieces yes. so that the whole thing is big and harmonious, but you know, when you put it together, it's you know sufficiently sufficiently interesting to, to be used. And you know, so that's like a beautiful design is.